guys, it's me again. Today I'm going to give you tips about um, how to decorate your living room. Whether your style is traditional or modern, relaxed or formal, bold or subdued, your living room should be a place where you can feel comfortable, let down your guard and spend quality time with friends, family or just yourself. That's an art to decorating a room that looks great and works well for you. So before you dive into a living room redesign with your pro, arm yourself with a few designing tips and tricks. Here are some of my favorites. Tips number one, mixed light and dark color. When a living room is all white and bright, it can feel too clean and unapproachable. When it's all dark, it can feel like a cave. But mixing dark and light colors creates a dynamic look that has depth and balance. The design of any space benefits from the inclusion of at least a little white and a little black. Tips number two, contrast your neutrals. Beyond including some of white and some of black, decorating a living room with a variety of contrasting neutrals goes a long way toward making it feel rich and welcoming. In this example, the white walls, caramel leather, brass hardware, grey sofa and blue-grey cabinets all contrast with one another, which highlights their different fit, finishes and undertones. This makes the palette feel rich even before other key elements such as color, pattern and texture are added. Tips number 3. Play with texture. Texture is easy to overlook when decorating a living room, especially when we don't see it so much as touch it. But it is important for making a living room feel cozy and that goes for plush textures that appeal to the touch and harder textures that add contrast. Include leather, cotton, wool, metal, stone, glass, plant life and any, mother, any many other textures as you can see. Tips number 4 is to work in some wood. We can't talk about texture without talking about wood, one of the top materials for bringing a sense of warmth into a living room. There are so many ways to add wood, any of which will make a space feel a bit more inviting. Consider wall paneling, side tables, movable stool, picture frames, sofa legs, and carved pieces of an art as just a few of the many options. Tips number five is to mix up your upholstery. Sure, most furniture stores give you the option of purchasing an entire living room set in matching upholstery, but that doesn't mean you should do it. In a formal sitting area, matching upholstery can give a sense of maturity and order. But if you want a living room to feel cozy and welcoming, mix and match your upholstered pieces to give the design a bit more personality. One of the safest way to do this is to make leather chairs with a fabric sofa or vice versa, so the material contrasts in an obviously international way. It gives the living room design some diversity which can also give members of the family different options to suit their sitting preference. Tip number 6 is to choose movable tables and stools. Lightweight tables, stools, ottomans and even side chairs that can be moved around easily make a living room much more comfortable, giving you and your family lots of options on a daily basis for putting your feet up setting a drink down or sitting an extra guest. Use a few smaller pieces such as the upholstered full stall seen here to allow for movement of pieces closer to and further for the main sitting as needed. The last tip that I could give is to consider conversational distance. No matter how big your living room is, there's a limit to how large a sitting group can be and still make sense for intimate conversation and cozy gatherings. A good distance between seats to facilitate conversation is about 8 feet, um, meaning if you have several sofas or a sofa and side chairs, the sitting area should have a diameter of 8 feet or 4 feet out from the center. A huge 12 seat sectional sofa may look great and be perfect for a party, but if you are looking to create a cozy living room, it usually best to use fewer, smaller sitting pieces and push them a little close together. Therefore, think about it wisely before you start decorating your living house. I'm sure if you follow the tips, the outcome will be unexpected for you to ever imagine. That's all for me, thank you.